Technology has the power to transform society. The most famous example of this is German craftsman Johannes Gutenberg's invention of the printing press in the 15th century. The period of human history typically described by the change from traditional industry to an economy based on information computerization is known as the information age, digital age, or new media age. The information age. Before the rise of computers, information was being spread using printout materials. Johannes Gutenberg, a German blacksmith and publisher who introduced movable type printing in Europe, established what we call Gutenberg era, which is responsible for shaping the nature of society and its underlying institutions. In this period of time, where Gutenberg principle was formed and that principle is stated as the massive distribution of information in an expensive manner because it is institutionalized. The Pre-Gutenberg World According to Stacy 2008, during the time when printing press was not yet available, information could be processed in a tendinous manner. Books were written and produced by hand. They were made in surfaces of clay, wax, papyrus, and parchment. The hand-produced books and the other reading materials were restricted only to those people who can afford to buy these materials, called as the elite group of people. Information was only relayed to others through a word-of-mouth channels. The Gothenburg Revolution. It began with the introduction of printing, especially the movable printing press by Gutenberg. His principle existed in such a way that information could be passed on to every individual but to access was expensive. Books printed in the Gutenberg era were called inacunabula, meaning crundle or birthplace. This technology eventually diffused for means to Fabiaco in Italy, Paris, and then London. Most books that was first printed were that religious text of the medieval period that were initially written in Latin. But as time passed by, some books are written in local language which made them available and understandable to common people. Scientific and geographic discoveries spread at a fast rate as well as medical books were also published. The race of institutionalized and mediated channel was evident during this time and its best example was the media, which can pass information through to people from all walks of life and is open to door to exceptional mass communication. But during this period of history, to distribute information to a lot of listeners or viewers, one must have a ton of money that is, was very costly. The unprecedented discovery printing press has distributed a lot to the world that was very impossible to books or documents written by hand-making Johannes Gutenberg, a man of history. The post-Gutenberg world, this era was described as the emergence of the internet and the world wide web. This paved the way to the possible uploading and downloading of all forms of media instruments such as video, audio, and images. It enabled people to publish or spread the information. The Rise of Digital Age With the advent of modern technologies, printing press are not the only tools used in spreading information. Nowadays, information is readily available to pass from an individual to another from here to event far away places. Computers invented by Charles Babbage, an English mechanical engineering and considered the father of computers. This technology was designed for mechanical calculation and simple decision-making capabilities. The mainframe computers were large room-sized computers that provide people data calculation and manipulation faster than the human brain. Personal computers also available which give every individual access to computers. The Internet Developed in California, U.S. in the late 1960. The Internet was mostly used by scientists to communicate with one another scientist. Vendon Surf and Robert Kahn are the people behind this marvelous piece of technology.
It was a government-controlled project until 1984 and its first countered problem in using it was the speed. The development of fiber optics allowed the billion of bits of information to be received every minute and the company name Intel was one of the company that developed faster microprocessors like i5 and i7 that can process any data very quickly. World Wide Web, commonly known as WWW, was invented by Sir Tim Berners-Lee, a British computer scientist that started in 1990, and it was basically for commercial purposes. Home pages was made by companies, business owners, or corporations in order to promote and sell their products and eventually. Other items could be purchased online giving case to shopping. Similarly, online business can earn money through online transactions. Electronic mail or email. According to Rice and Barman at Hikari 2013, several years back, it would take several days to receive a letter and it would also take a big amount of money to contact and talk to someone very far away. Communication was made easier through email, the invention of which was controversially claimed by V.A. Shiva Ayadurai, an Indian-born American scientist and entrepreneur. He started building the system in 1978 when he was 14 years old. The copyright for the term email was granted him in 1982. Email is an avenue by which messages are exchanged between people from different locations at a faster rate. Facebook According to Use and Hands 2017, a website launched in February 4, 2004 by a computer programmer, Mark Elliott Zuckerberg, together with his fellow students in Harvard College and with other crewmates. The membership was first limited to Harvard students but later, students in Boston area, Ivy League College, and Stanford University were allowed to get access to the website. Facebook is a social networking website where people could one another and meet online to share each other's thoughts, ideas, experiences, photos, and videos which they feel would be worth sharing. It can build relationships can be used in business transactions, and could be a source of games. Twitter According to Rice and Barman at Hikari 2013, created in March 2006 by Jack Dorsey, Noah Glass, B. Stone, and Evan Williams, it is another networking website where people post and interact with message or tweets which are restricted only for up to 140 characters and one of the visited websites and is considered the SMS of the internet. Messenger originally developed as Facebook chat in 2008 but changed its messaging service in 2010. An instant messaging service and software application. This can be used to send messages to other people through written messages, voice calls, or video calls. The letter could be in one-to-one -one interaction or even a group conversation. YouTube Today's online largest destination and the third most visited website. This website makes its way through the social media via the tandem of Chad Harley and Steve Chen. In 2005, during Valentine's Day, Harley registered the logo and domain of YouTube. After three months, a small group of employees launched the site www.youtube.com. One of the best ways to watch videos that can be also shared. It contains videos about in numerous aspects of life through this website. Google Larry Page and Surgery Brain, both PhD students at Stanford University, developed Google, Google as a research project in 1996. The domain google.com was registered in September 1997 and now the most used search in engine in the World Wide Web. 
It offers us a variety of features beyond searching for words. This may include synonyms or words meaning. Time zones, maps, weather forecast, sports scores, calculation, etc. And also for research or journal articles as references for thesis and dissertation. Yahoo in Japan is one of the is one of the most competition of Google. Next is Instagram. Instagram is created by Kevin Kisistrom and Mike Rieger in October 2010. It's a fan photography application that is gaining fame all over the globe. This can be used to enhance and give style to your photo, which can later be shared with others using the same application. A user-friendly app, but other apps could also provide the same features. The social media platforms mentioned above are the most commonly used platforms by people, but there are still other social media platforms which are the following. Example, Blob, High Five, House Party, LinkedIn, My Life, Meerkat, Snapchat, Bing, Zing, Click, Vimeo, and iTunes. Their invention and use became a very significant part of economy and it gave great impact in the workforce in many different ways. Workers who are not well versed with automation are forced to look for automated jobs and they also forced to compete globally competitive jobs and worse. Some workers are being replaced by computers which can make the job much faster and which do not require compensation. On lighter note, computerization has given much benefit to us. It resulted in high productivity in the workplace. Nowadays, bills payment, bank transactions, online shopping, and the like are much easier than without computers and internet. From Gutenberg's to information age, evolution of technology has made us realize that modernization of information and communication process have become the power behind social evolution.